So there are a number of different types of content. A very basic type of content is text. When you think about creating your uh, updates on LinkedIn, on Twitter, Facebook, or any other social network, things that you will be doing is creating text content on a perhaps more regular basis. One of the more expressive and much more sort of in-depth content that you can think about is blog posts. And it's really useful for you to try and consider perhaps posting one or two blog posts on, uh, during this time of this course because this will really give you an in-depth understanding, an in-depth opportunity to actually show why you're interested in this subject area. So your employers would potentially be able to read that particular content and actually get to understand you and your way of thinking. Just having your LinkedIn profile optimized with your picture and the things that you are interested in is a really good starting point. But we are here doing your personal branding online course, trying to make the most of the content that you have. So try and think about in-depth content in text production. So a blog post should be about 500 words or 600 or more to show the passions, the interest areas that you are interested in. So when you are structuring, so for example, writing your text contents, and that actually applies to pretty much any communication that you have, the AIDA model, so the awareness, interest, desire, and action, are the things that you might want to think about. So the awareness side of things is trying to capture the audience's attention. So you can start your blog post with opening with a question, posting potentially an image that's capturing people's interest in a certain area that you are focusing on. So the next point that you're focusing on is interest. Try to highlight certain things that you have done differently, how you approach your uh, research for that blog post potentially, or how you've developed that content and how you arrived at your conclusions. The uh, third point that you're focusing on is desire. So this is obviously something that you are uh, not necessarily selling in this particular course, but this is a model that's developed for marketing purposes. But the idea is that if you have certain things that you really think that you are really good at doing and you will be a gr great team member for a particular organization, you could highlight those points in that particular post as well. So the good thing here to try and do is think about the benefits rather than features. So if you are trying to explain about the benefits of an energy efficient car, so the feature is trying to say, well, this car consumption is five liters per 100 kilometers, but the benefit is that you can drive this car from, say, Marseille to Paris without having to refuel it. So there you go. So try and think about capturing and communicating the benefits in a positive way. Last but not least in your content optimization is action. So every time that you write a blog post or if you are writing a tweet, whenever you are writing a blog update on LinkedIn, always try and get people to do something. So a very basic thing that you can do, and you will have seen it uh, on many of times who are successful uh, social media communicators, and they ask for a response. So for example, if it is a video that you create, you might want to say, hey, why not like me or subscribe to my YouTube channel? So some basic things for actions that you can do on social media that will actually increase your trustworthiness and increase your social media capital. And obviously comments and responses will also be showing the level of uh, interaction that you could have. So finishing with a question mark, asking others to comment is a great way to optimize your content. And thinking beyond just posting it, but creating a conversation that is around a subject area that you are passionate about. So content optimization is really important when you are trying to optimize all your profiles. So think about the AIDA model and how it can help you to structure the messages that you'll be creating.